Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral, and in this Lightboard lesson video, we're going to talk about Nginx App Protect. Nginx App Protect is a modern and lightweight web application firewall that leverages F5's security expertise. Uh, this can be deployed in a number of different places to suit the needs of all the various functional roles within a modern application team. This, uh, this product, Nginx App Protect, was built to address security for these, uh, th these modern environments that require lightweight, high-performance security solutions that can be easily integrated in these DevOps environments. Um, you have a lot of different teams at play in these modern uh, environments. You've got SecOps, for example, that need to consistently enforce controls like security controls within these agile environments. You've got DevOps teams that need to integrate application security controls across multiple environments. Uh, you've got app dev teams that need to maintain release velocity, so they need to get the code out quickly, and they don't need security to be a, a roadblock for them, right? I saw some recent uh, research that said, uh, you know, some companies today are deploying code multiple times a day, and in some cases, hundreds and even thousands. I saw where Amazon and AWS, they deploy code every 11 seconds on average, uh, companies like Netflix, they deploy thousands of times a day. So this is code into production thousands of times a day. It's crazy. You know, it's the, it's, it's, uh, you know, back in the day, you would have the developer teams that would develop the code and it had to go through all kinds of testing and all sorts of different process before it finally hit production, you know, maybe months later. That's not the world we live in. So with these modern environments, we need a security solution uh, to keep up with all of that agility and that speed, but still provides the security that, that you're looking for, of course. So with Nginx App Protect, I'm going to show you several different ways that you can deploy this. And the first one I'm going to talk about is here at the edge. So Nginx App Protect is built on top of Nginx Plus. So I'll just put an N plus right here with a little, uh, little diamond around it, all right? And this is right here at the network edge, right? So you can deploy this thing um, right at the edge. So this is when like NetOps or SecOps manage your WAF. Um, this is a great case for the edge load balancer that's outside of say Kubernetes. Um, and this gives uh, the ability for the NetOps or SecOps uh, teams to empower their application or development uh, teams, the DevOps teams, to consume these application services in an automated manner, right? So you can deploy this thing right here at the edge um, and, uh, and, you know, and, and do all those things that we just talked about, all right? So as we move into to like a Kubernetes environment, you can come on into uh, the Kubernetes, Kubernetes ingress controller. So I'll just put a few of these things right here with uh, Nginx Plus, and here's Nginx uh, App Protect <clears throat> deployed here on the ingress controller. So this is, uh, this is for Kubernetes native SecOps or DevSecOps, right? So this is when uh, the WAF policies are controlled by the NetOps team or the DevOps team, then the policies can be defined and associated with, with the services using the Kubernetes API. And so um, you, can, uh, you can put this right here. You can also leverage uh, the container ingress services to, um, to scale out Nginx ingress controller, and you can add other things like um, you know, load balancing, DNS services, DDoS protection, things like that. Uh, so you can deploy it right here on the ingress controller, um, and you use the Kubernetes API to do that. So then if, you, uh, if you, you, know, you have other options besides the ingress controller, you can come on into you know, within Kubernetes. I'm gonna draw a couple of pods right here, so you've got uh, you know, pod one, so here's, you know, pod, pod, whatever, right? And you have uh, what we call a per service, so per service proxy, all right? So what this is, is you would uh, deploy Nginx Plus with uh, Nginx App Protect right here, and this would be deployed around uh, the service here. So this is a good solution when the WAF policies, uh, you know, are, um, are under the direction of like the DevSecOps team and they're specific to a small number of services, all right? Uh, this could be, the, or this is implemented using a front-end proxy service for the protected services that you're looking to protect, right? Um, this also allows for greater resource control 
uh, and, it, and it reduces the complexity back here on the ingress controller configuration. So you can deploy this as a per, survey, per service proxy, all right? And then the last one that I'm going to mention here is what we call a per pod proxy. So here's per pod proxy, and this one is kind of exactly what it sounds like. So you got a couple of pods here uh, within Kubernetes, and you would just deploy this right here. So I'll just put Nginx Plus with the little thing. And so you do Nginx app protect right here on the on you know each pod. So of course these are all now connected back up here to the um, uh, to the ingress controller. All right. So this is good when the application owner has full control over the policies, over the WAF policies. Um, the WAF or the uh, Nginx app protect is implemented using an, an embedded proxy for each application pod. Um, and this is good for services that require very close control and testing of the WAF configuration. So a good example of this would be if you have a large legacy application, let's say, um, and you've packaged it up as a container, well, that application is probably going to have a lot of vul vulnerabilities in it, right? And so this would be a great way to implement uh, security controls for that, uh, what would be legacy application now that's been containerized. So again, you can, you can uh, implement or you can deploy Nginx App Protect on the edge. You can bring it into the ingress controller itself, and then you can deploy it as a per service proxy or a per pod proxy. So there's multiple ways to implement security across your modern application environment, which is exactly what we're looking to do, right? So that's, uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to, to implement these web applications today, and you need a security uh, you know, service that's gonna be able to handle that, that agility, that flexibility, that speed, and this right here will do all of those things. So uh, we've got a couple of links down here. If you want to download a free trial, you can, you can do that, kind of play around with, uh, you know, play around with this yourself. Uh, or you can learn more about this, uh, get all the details of Nginx App Protect. So, uh, so thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.